Good day. Today I'm going to show you how to create a leaderboard with ActionScript 3. This is the easiest leaderboard that I can come up with at this time. So first I'm going to show you the ActionScript, then I'm going to show you the finished result. So we begin at frame 1. Here we can see that the variable for the shared object, so we save the score name, is going to be equal to the location where the game save file is going to be saved. This is the name for the local game save. Here you see the variable save score name is equal to the data of this local game file. This name you can name it whatever you want. This can be whatever you want. So here you can see the two listeners. You can see that if this variable is not set, it means that there is no data in this game save file. Then we are going to trace it and we're going to set the variable to be name is equal to this sign. So on. then we're going to set that the data of the game file is going to be equal to this. Then we're going to overwrite all existing data. If you look at frame 2 can see the leaderboard screen. This is the name, this is the points. Here you can see the name 1, name 2 is equal to name 1, name 2 from this variable. So we can see here. So when we open up the game after I, I have showed you the rest of the action script you will see that name 1 will have this sign we're going to do the same for score if you look at frame 3 the last frame we can see that this score variable here is at a zero. We use u, u int because we only want to have a positive number. If you use int like this, we will also be able to write a negative number. If you use number, we will also be able to have decimals. Then we're going to set the text this is going to be the score variable and this will need to be in a string then we have the two listeners more points and check frame more points check frame will check for each frame here to 200 if the frame is equal to 200 if the frame is equal to 200 we will set the name field and the finished score here to be equal to this then we will move all of this down here we'll then remove this event listener because we do not need it anymore and we also remove this event listener for the button. Then we will stop everything. We need to remove this so that the user can't add more points when it's finished. When we press the more points button, we will add more points, 10 points, if the score is less than this number. Then we'll update the score. The score
score will not be updated if we do not write this. So when we are finished, we will save the score. It's not that complicated. We have our save score and continue listener here. When we press this event, we will check if the score is zero. If it's zero, we will make the text red and the text point so you can see that there's an error with saving the score. If not, we will see if the text is equal to nothing or equal to name. If it is, we will change the text code to red and the text to name. We will then add an event, listener, which will check if the text is not equal to nothing. A name field is not equal to name. Then we will change the color back to normal and then we will remove the event listener. If everything is okay, we will save the score. If the score is higher than score 1, and or the score is not is equal to this sign and not equal to 0, we will trace the score 1 and we will set the variable saved score name to be the name field here and the score then we will set everything else to be as it was before so if we started up this up and we try to save it we will get this, the name the score then we will get this 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 for this and then we will set the data of the game file to be equal to this variable. Then we will flush it, which will overwrite all existing data. And then we will remove the event listeners so we don't get any errors. And then we will go to the start menu. Here, the same thing is happening. The score is higher than score 2 but less than score 1 or the score 2 is equal to this sign and score is not equal to 0 then we will do the same but we will do something different we will move name 2 down to name 3 and name 3 down to name 4 do the same here so that we can get the score that was above uh, the score that was on this on this place down one so we can so it does not get deleted then we will set the data to be this again and all write it and do the same we'll do the same here and do the same here same here and if everything if the score is not equal or if its score is not higher than any of the scores in the leaderboard. We will then set the text code to red and the text to score less than so that you can understand that it's not higher than any of the leader board scores. So now I will we'll show you how this works. Here you can see the event listener for the continue start menu. We created a new game file, a game save. You can see here, it works. If you press start, it will trace that is in place one. If we try to save it without a name, we will get this error. If we remove it, we will get the normal text color. Try to do it again, we will get this error. I 
now do this three more times. score than second place so it got on the top and we moved all of this one down so now we got three scores what happens if we get a score that is less than this? Let's see. We get this error. What happens if we get zero points? this error. What happens if we get over 40 points? 50 points. It saves a score for. Let's see one more time what happens if we get a score above 60. What happens with the last score? score. We get to place number 3. The last score is removed. If we get a score that is 70 points now, we will remove this score and the score will be added here. Let's try it out. show you all of it so if you go to this website right here and update it we will get the local game file if we delete it we will remove it this is good when you are testing your game if we start it up again a new game file will be created and we are back to zero in the game same file you can say thank you for watching